Yeah. Let's pray. Okay, let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being with us. Even through the uh, COVID-19, thank you so much for your leading and guiding each one of us as your children. We gather here to receive your word. Please uh, encourage your servant, the word of God, uh, missionary Nehemiah. So uh, with your Holy Spirit, he may speak through your, you may speak through his mouth, Lord. From the beginning to the end, your name be glorified, Lord. I pray all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, today we'll study uh, Esther chapter 7 to the 10. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Chapter 7, uh, Spare My People. Uh, the king enjoyed the delicious banquet prepared by Esther. Uh, <laughs> Esther invited uh, king and Haman. So Haman was very happy because uh, he was invited by the queen. He did not know the nationality of Esther. He oh. hated uh, Jews, but Esther did not reveal her nationalities, nationality because uh, Mordecai told Esther not to speak her nationality. Oh. So, wow. I am invited by queen with king. Wow, it's a royal banquet. I was uh, invited. He was very happy. Hmm? <laughs> but uh, the banquet was the uh, feast of death <laughs> to <laughs> him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The king was extremely pleased and asked the uh, asked her for her petition. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, Noah, please read verse 3. Of chapter 7, verse 3. In the screen, you can see. Oh. Then, as, then Queen yeah. Esther answered if i have found favor with you your majesty and if it pleases you grant me my life this this is my petition and spare my people this is my request yeah okay hmm? uh the king was very happy and mm -hmm. he wanted to give anything she <laughs> wanted so uh, the chance was given to Esther, and Esther answered, uh, If I have found the favor with you, your majesty, and if it is pleases you, grant me my life. Uh, it means that I am in the uh, dangerous situation. And spare my people. Wow. He did not know. The king uh, could not imagine. Huh? Uh, about dangerous situation to his lovely wife, Queen Esther. Hmm? Uh, and uh, read verse four again as well, Noah. For I and my people have been sold to be destroyed, killed and annihilated. If we had merely been sold as male and female slaves, I would have kept quiet because no such distress would justify disturbing the king. Mm. I and my people have been sold to be destroyed, killed, and uh, annihilated. Wow. Huh? Mm. If we had merely been sold as male and female slaves, I would have kept quiet. Huh? Uh, wow. Uh. Mm. Queen Esther did not evade the truth. She uh, revealed all her agonies. Yeah? Mm. She told the king plainly about the impending disaster facing her and her people. Yeah. Mm. The king demanded to know who was responsible for this. 
why oh my king why do you uh, uh why are you afraid hmm? of the disaster who made the plot hmm? Esther pointed to the vile enemy of God's people, Haman. It is that guy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Noah. Uh, what, what was the response? Uh, uh, Haman, when she listened to Esther's saying. He was probably really confused. Yeah. And then the moment he put two and two together, he was like, oh, my. And mm. then he knew he had it coming, I bet. Mm. But honestly, when she said it initially, he was like, what are you talking about? And mm. then it clicked. Yeah. Wow. Huh? Esther exposed the truth about Haman enemy of God's people. Yeah. Until the end, Haman was the man of uh, he was uh, honored by king. Yeah. He was the right hand of king. Huh? Uh, so Haman wanted to uh, do all things huh? uh, and he wanted to kill all the Jews, uh, annihilate. Huh? Mm. It's the bad scheme. Uh, and Satan's scheme. Yeah. He was powerful. And who can save uh, the Jews? It's impossible. But uh, God. Uh, made uh, uh, God prepared the uh, great work uh, by inviting King and Haman through Esther and in that place uh, Esther exposed all the bad scheme wow Esther was a very uh, courageous and brave woman yeah uh, yeah Directly, she pointed out uh, that guy, Haman, is the enemy of Jews. Uh, he wants to uh, kill uh, uh, all our people and family members. Yeah. As uh, Shepherd Oyo Moses uh, mentioned several years ago, so many people were killed, yeah? clan by clan, uh, yeah. Mm. The, in Africa, one tribe uh, got a power, they revenge other tribe. It's a tradition, tradition, I heard about that. Yeah? How miserable it is. Yeah. And the situation, uh, Mm, they are in the condition of coma. Uh, mm. It's not a uh, normal condition. Yeah? yeah. Because they had, yeah. Until yesterday, they were friendly with uh, each other. But from today, they became enemy and they revenge brutally. Yeah. They hide their revenge in their hearts. Mm. Several years ago, my father and grandparents were killed by your tribe, and now it's my turn to wow. revenge. Yeah. You know, there are many tribes, even in the same country. Mm. So what leader comes from the tribe, it is very important. Then it is uh, uh, mm, opportunity for them to revenge. Yeah, it's a vicious circle, vicious circle. Yeah. Mm. So Haman, uh, who is the Amalekite? Uh, Amalekite is the satanic uh, tribe in the Bible. Yeah. Mm? Uh, mm, uh, in the 
in chapter 17 of Exodus, uh, just after crossing over the Red Sea, Amalekite attacked Israelites. Uh, and uh, mm, Numbers chapter uh, 11, we can see that when the Israelites started for promised land, Amalekite uh, attacked Israelites. Uh, so many times, uh, Amalekite attacked Israelites. Uh, it's a satanic image. Yeah. Uh, in uh, Babylonia, when uh, Israelites uh, were carried as an exile in Babylonia, uh, Amalekites wanted to kill uh, Jews. Yeah. God's plan uh, was that uh, Israelites. Uh, should they be disciplined for 70 years and uh, return to Jerusalem uh, for re-establishing temple of God. Uh, but Satan tries to bother somehow. Mm. Huh? Yeah. And Haman was the leader. Uh, but Haman was very powerful. So no one can dare to uh, uh, resist eh? Haman. However, uh, a female who was often Esther, she did. Wow. She embodied Haman and King in uh, her uh, banquet. Is it like a drama and movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great reverse, great reverse. Yeah? Until then, uh, uh, most of the Jews were very sorrowful and frightened. Oh, we can be annihilated. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, but suddenly, the condition was reversed through this banquet. Oh. Wow. So we can realize that uh, we should not give up to the end. Because God can stretch his hand mm. through uh, one man, mm. uh, one female. Hmm? Yeah. We don't know how God will reveal his glory and honor and authority. Mm. So, uh, to the end, we have faith in God. Eh? Uh, last, uh, this week, uh, one uh, uh, mm, shepherd commits suicide in some chapter, uh, Mr. Caleb, uh, Hwajin's brother, hmm? mm -hmm. Anajin's brother. Hmm? You know, uh, Hwajin's uh, father committed suicide several years ago. And uh, now his, uh, her brother committed suicide because of depression. Hmm? Uh, and he, uh, I think that he, uh, lost a lot of money through stock market. So I think that he gave up. Uh, I can, he cannot uh, restore the money. So I think that he gave up his life. Yeah. We should not give up, even though we uh, make a mistake. And, uh, uh, but easily, uh, a lot of people uh, give up and they uh, choose the extreme choice. Huh? It's a satanic work. Mm -hmm. Satan tries to kill the people somehow. Huh? Uh, mm. Yeah, finish your life. It's end. Huh? And criticize. Yeah. But uh, we need not uh, give up. There's the way for survivor and restore. I remember that several years ago uh, in 
Do you know the mandu? Man, ma, how can I say in uh, English in mandu? Dumpling. <laughs> huh? Dumpling. Dumpling. No, yeah. do you do you know dumpling? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the <laughs> TV news, uh, yeah. the process of making dumpling was revealed. So, oh. uh, mandu became a very disgusting food. Oh. So many people. Yeah, you. You know, Korean people like mandu so much, but through that, uh, yeah, the report, so uh, many people did not uh, buy mandu anymore. Oh. Because of it, one of the uh, mm, yeah, businessmen uh, who uh, invested money in making mandu commit suicide. Oh. He thought that Oh, my business stopped, failed. Mm -hmm. So there's no hope in my business. Oh, but yeah. several uh, months later, Mandu yeah. was sold as well again. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we did not give up. Mm. Huh? In my chapter, uh, I, I heard a very sorrowful story uh, one shepherd is, uh, uh, she uh, uh, shared her life testimony and uh, his father committed suicide. Oh. Hmm? Do you know why? He uh, expected, uh, uh, he wanted to uh, sons, but uh his wife gave birth to daughters in a row mm. four daughters maybe so he frustrated and he committed suicide <laughs> but in the womb of his wife there was the baby and uh, the baby was a son uh, uh, <laughs> too late huh? yeah and uh, she brought uh, her brother to our center. Oh. I was very surprised that mm. he was very handsome, <laughs> like Jung Woo Sung. Mr. Kalle, can you remember Park Ok Soon? Yeah, her story. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Hmm? He, her father should. Huh? Mm. Wait uh, ten, 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 10 months <laughs> oh <my laughs> or several months. Huh? Wow. Uh. Huh? Yeah. Uh, God uh, can make a divorce. Huh? Mm -hmm. So we should not uh, be proud and we should not frustrate. In any situation. Amen. In God, we can have a hope. Amen. Mission uh, William, have you ever uh, uh, frustrating uh, in missionary life or in your life? Yeah. When, when I was in America, you mm. know, I rejected by 20 uh, school for PhD program. I, 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 it was very, very hard to get in, you know, finish a master course, mm. English you know, major, you know, master mm. course. I feel like dying. And then I rejected by, you know, by the PhD program. Mm. I applied 20. I want to stay New York, only New York, you know, the mm. baby bag, you know, the very good shepherd, you know. Mm. I want to be there, <laughs> but rejected, <laughs> you know. Wow, can you remember the imagine that you know? Mm -hmm. And then uh I I my the status of uh, you know staying in America is illegal. Mm -hmm. illegal one mm -hmm. year after rejected one year passed by, and then I have to go back to Korea. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and then I, I, I got a car accident, but oh. it's not it, it kind of a, it's not my fault, but mm -hmm. Still, I gave money to the driver because he said I will call policeman. Oh. But I was in illegal legend in oh. the USA. Oh. Wow. 
Well, at that time, you know, I was really, really frustrated and, mm. you know, no hope in my mm. life. I think mm. uh, a very little short of time, what about dying at mm. and now? <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, but, you and know, and, and, you, I, and yeah. your wife uh, had the cancer. Yeah, and then he got a can she got a cancer, you know. Mm. And then I apply, you know, I send the, you know, but I pray, pray mm. hard. Mm. And then I sent a letter to INS. Mm. I, I don't know what is the meaning of INS, but you know, mm. they, they control the immigration people in it is part of the American government. Mm. And then I sent, you know, letter with the rejection letter. Mm. With all rejection there, I want to give me one more chance. Mm. Then I will, I will try one more time, and then if I reject it, I will leave America. Mm. Could you give me one more chance? Mm. That I, and then I have you know the language school or uh, the I I twenty. Mm. All foreigners need uh, I twenty uh, mm. as a student, and then they put the stamp and then give it back to me. Okay, last chance, you know? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, legal status. I change it to legal chance, you know? Oh. Yeah. And then I, I apply again. And then interestingly, you know, I rejected again all school around the New York, but Louisiana State University accept me oh. far away from New York. Mm. Same thing, after I graduate at Louisiana State, I apply many school to mm. get a job. Mm. But rejected, 100 places reject me. Oh. But only one place in Indonesia. Oh. <laughs> That's why you are in Indonesia now. <laughs> God, God leaders, God leaders. Mm. God has a plan, already God has a plan. Oh. But I didn't know that, you know, God's mm. plan. <laughs> Your background photo is Indonesia? Yeah. So oh, Florida. beautiful scenery. Yeah, Flores. Oh. Name is oh. Flores. The mm. island. Yeah, Flores mm. island. Good. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, thank God for thank making God. reverse in your life. Yeah. Thank uh, God. Uh, I think that because time. you yeah. have uh experienced a lot a lot of difficulties mm. uh you can be a great poet yeah <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> yeah huh? without difficulties we cannot uh uh yeah think uh deeply uh, mm. through many uh, difficulties we can pray and we can meditate a lot of things yeah. And because of it, we can uh, make a poem. Yeah, Mr. Caleb, you mentioned that in UK, uh, in London, UBF, uh, for many months, you studied Psalm chapter 1 through 41. What was the most impressive chapter for you? Oh. <laughs> Among 41 chapters. <laughs> Psalm chapter one. <laughs> uh, one or uh, twenty-three. Uh, just before, I think. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Yeah. I like chapter one. You know. One. <laughs> yeah, blessed one is who meditate the word mm. of God day and night. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about chapter 23, verse oh, four? Also, Even though street. I work through the darkest yeah. valley. I love that too. I love that. <laughs> I will yeah. uh, fear, fear no evil, for yeah. you are with me. Lord is my shepherd. Mm, Lord is my yeah. shepherd. That's beautiful. Yeah. You know, what is the uh, uh, best number one uh, chapter? Uh, who are in the uh, patients who are hospitalized? Yeah. Isaiah chapter 40? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Psalm chapter 23. Oh, Psalm chapter 23. Yeah. Wow, Lord is my shepherd. Yeah, Caleb, what, what chapter? What, uh, what verse? 
<laughs> last year, I mean, last 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 week, hmm. uh, the past year, I, I just people really. thirty nine, verse five, yeah, thirty nine, yes, really, uh, yeah. uh, verse, it's five, yeah, five. Mm. You have my days, uh, mere hand breath, mm. as part of my years is it, as nothing before you. Mm. Each man's life is but a breath. Mm. So, so that the James, James, the James would yeah, mm. uh, reflect this verse is that uh, kind of uh, the perspective issues, the mm. people's perspective and God's perspective for our lives. Mm. So we gotta. Many problems and difficulties, but actually, before God, our life is very short. Mm. And when we are in the difficulties, ah, when it will be finished? Mm. How long? How long? How long? But the people that we have to uh, have a the good perspective for our lives. Mm. God, our life is in control mm. uh, under the, His His sovereignty. Mm. So current uh, difficulties. There is a there is a meaning, mm. not meaning in God. So there, there is a meaning. So we have to uh, bear mm. the situation mm. by faith, mm. and then uh, we will be uh, liberated. Yeah. Mm. So, Amen. So, Noah, uh, can you remember your first reading time? Like one specifically. Mm. Um. I guess when going through elementary school, going through slightly through middle school, when mm. I was going through through school, mm. but I had to go through speech therapy because I I had I was stuttering, mm. which I would if if you don't know what stuttering is it's pausing in between certain syllables and mm. it's sometimes it's it's the you're out of breath say it feels like but um anyway i've been i did speech therapy for a long time for that and that was just very frustrating mm. nobody else could talk mm. as well i was able to talk it was just mm. very choppy and mm. it just it just didn't feel good at all mm. but yeah, yeah it's 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 good now mm. Obviously, it never goes away but mm. at least it's not terrible so, mm. yeah. and uh at the time you prayed and how how could you overcome the problem a lot of prayer Oh. oh, a lot of prayer. Yeah, yeah. so God made the reverse that mm -hmm. you uh, read uh, Bible so much. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So hmm? you love the word of God. It's a great reverse. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If you speak fluently and if you were popular uh, in the class, I think that uh, you can go party and <laughs> you can make friends, girlfriends, and <laughs> it can be very tempting. Huh? So God uh, made the, that the problem uh, for uh, God's glory. Wow. So God has the plan and providence upon us. So, uh, yeah, uh, David uh, had faced a lot of uh, risks huh? and dangers, but God reversed. Uh, uh, David was not a hero. Uh, God uh, made a great work on his life. Esther wow. is, uh, yeah, Esther was great, but fundamentally, God made a plot mm. and plan uh, mm. for uh, uh, saving his people. For it, God uh, uh, sent Esther. Uh, to the palace uh, and God uh, made the uh, 
situation that one day uh, the king did not sleep and he opened the chronicle, mm -hmm. the book of chronicle, and uh, that page, the Mordecai uh, reported the uh, assassination. So he wanted to honor him. Yeah, because of it, he could be exalted and yeah, so all things could happen by the hand of God, yeah? mm -hmm. not by our will. Yeah. So uh, if we believe in God, God uh, solve all our problems by using us. Yeah. It's a wonderful story. Mm. Yeah. Esther said, an adversary and enemy this vile Haman, then Haman was terrified before the king and queen like, the, like this. Mm -hmm. The king got up in rage, left his wine, and went out into the palace garden. But Haman stayed behind to beg Queen Esther for his life. When the king came back in, Haman was falling on the couch where Queen Esther was reclining like this. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he must really be able to anger the king, uh, hang to death. Yeah. What are you doing there? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Please uh, arrest this guy. <laughs> yeah. The, the king was enraged by Hamas' rude behavior and uh, ordered him and hanged. Uh, one of the servants mentioned about the Paul Haman had built for Mordecai near his house. Yeah. Haman prepared the Paul in order to hang Mordecai. However, that Paul, uh, he should be hanged. Wow. It's a great reverse. Great reverse. Huh? Yeah. The king said, impel him on it. So they impelled him on the pole he had to set up for Mordecai. Then the king's fury uh, subsided. Wow. When Haman made the pole in order to hang Mordecai, wow. Uh, uh, it was very dangerous and thrilling. But uh, God made Paul, that pole, that pole uh, for uh yeah hang uh Haman. Mm. So even though uh wicked man tried to uh attack us somehow, but uh because God protect us, uh they cannot succeed. Mm? Yeah. How wonderful our God is. Mm? Wow. And in Paul Haman on it, the king ordered Haman was led out to be e executed. Yeah, Haman was honored by king, but uh, he was led out to be executed. It's the history, it's the history. Yeah, in the history book, we can see uh, the kind of things many times. Many people were uh, exalted hmm, in the cabinet, uh, uh, in the palace, and the, as a cabinet members. But finally, uh, they are regarded as the adversaries hmm, and enemies, so they were killed. Yeah, it's the history. Yeah. Chapter eight: An edict to save the Jews. The king presented Queen Esther with Haman's estate and gave his signet ring to Mordecai. The king's edict, which Haman had sent out to all the provinces of the empire, was still in effect. On the 17th day of Adar, the Jews were to be attacked and annihilated. Esther again risked her life to come to the king. Yeah. Uh, Noah, please read verse three. 
Esther again pleaded with the king, falling at his feet and weeping. She begged him to put end to the evil plan of Haman the Agagite, which he had devised against the Jews. Yeah. Haman was pulled, uh, hang, uh, hanged on the pole, but Esther was not satisfied because uh, Haman's edict was, uh, yeah, mm, had power, yeah, until that time. Mm. So Esther wanted to save his people. So he uh, asked the king, uh to uh mm, uh put an end the evil plan of Haman yeah uh, which he had devised against the Jews so Esther pleaded uh with the king falling uh at his feet and weeping wow Again, he extended his golden scepter. Wow. Hmm? He gave Mordecai authority to write another edict under the king's own seal. In the past, uh, Haman was given uh, the authority of king. But it was reversed. Now, the king gave Mordecai authority to write another edict. Don't kill Jews. Wow, it's changed. The king made another decree giving support to the Jews against their attackers. Wow. God used the king, uh, Babylonian Persian king, who can move the king of Persia, which was the uh, most powerful country? Yeah. Hmm? Who can move the heart of Putin and Xi Jinping and Joe Biden and Kim Jong-un? Who? God. God, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is God. <laughs> yeah, seemingly, yeah. Hmm? The leaders in the superpower nations mm. are making uh, world history. Uh, mm, Prime Minister UK, who I forgot the name. Caleb Johnson? Johnson yeah, it's just Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. He's confused, man. His hair is confused always. <laughs> He does not comb. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't care. Hair. Hair. He, he, has hair. Hair. he has to comb, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give the, I want to give gift for him to Moose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody, I, nobody likes him, but uh, he is the prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly. Uh, how long he will be stay eh? as the prime minister? I think, I think just one year now. One year. Yeah. Uh, there are still people judging him, and uh, he he has to he has to resign oh. because the, the COVID restriction is very serious. Mm. He had uh, many uh, party. Yeah, he had many party. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He has been blamed a lot in the newspaper I saw, but yeah? he yeah. just yeah. It's calmed down and <laughs> 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 bearing the situation. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> strange. Uh, mm. uh, uh, fundamentally, God uh, has the initiative and authority to rule over world history. Yeah. yeah so God can use anyone. Yeah, and uh, Luke's Gospel chapter one and two, uh, uh, King Herod and uh, Augustus, eh? 
God uh, used the edict of Augustus yeah? uh, to uh, give censors in the hometown. So uh, Joseph went to the Bethlehem and uh, Mary gave birth to a baby. Uh, uh, yeah, according to uh, fulfill, in order to fulfill uh, God's uh, promise, uh, Joseph went to the hometown and Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yeah. In order to fulfill Michael chapter 5, verse 2. Yeah. Likewise, uh, I don't know the will of God, uh, even in uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia, but uh, uh, I remember that uh, 30 years ago, God used Gorbachev in order to uh, open the gate uh, to Soviet Union. Mm. Mm. Because of it, uh, our missionaries could enter uh, Soviet Union. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they pioneered uh, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, and many uh, serious countries. I think that uh, it is the transition time. But I don't know uh, why uh, and how God will uh, accomplish his work. Uh, fundamentally, uh, evangelizing uh, uh, all the countries uh, God has used uh, all uh, old leaders. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have to pray that God may use uh, uh, leaders. Uh, uh, the world leaders are only the instrument of God's history, God's work, God's work. I heard that the president of Indonesia is a Christian now? No, still Muslim. Muslim? Yeah, the vice, vice the mayor, one of mayor? four years ago, the mayor. Ah, mayor. Aho, his name is Aho. He yeah. is a Christian. Mm. Yeah. Mayor in Jakarta? Yeah, mayor Jakarta. But mm. now he's in you know, a uh, uh, company leader of uh, oil company leader now. Mm. Maybe in the future he will appear as a candidate, president candidate. Mm. In the near future. Okay. Yeah. And uh. Okay. Esther fell at the king's feet, weeping and pleaded, if it pleases the king, let an order to be written of ruling Haman's plan. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. The word was sent out immediately to announce the new decree to all the 127 provinces stretching from India to Kush. Kush is the Ethiopia uh, in Africa. So Persia was a very big country. Well, can you imagine how strong the king was. He ruled the Persia, the empire. Yeah, from India to Kushi. Wow. The Esther moved the king's heart, who had ruled the big country, mm. even though she was a female and in the past, she was often and she was exiled, but God used. Uh, the second edict gave the Jews the right to assemble and protect themselves. It also gave them permission to attack and destroy their enemies and plunder their properties. Wow, the Jews in every place celebrated with joy and feasting. Wow. Uh, we can survive. Uh, we are so saved. Mordecai was raised up to a place of honor as the new prime minister instead of uh, Haman. Uh, 
the pole uh, which was made for hanging uh, Mordecai. Uh, yeah, Haman was hanged uh, in the pole, but the seat uh, Haman uh, posed and it was given to Mordecai. Wow. For the Jews, it was the time of happiest, happiness and joy, gladness and honor. Uh, yeah. Many people were seized with fear of God and of God's people, so they became Jews. Wow. Huh? It's a conversion. How difficult it is to uh, make conversion. From now on, I will be Jews. Can you remember uh, when Israelites left Egypt? Uh, some uh, other country people uh, accompanied uh, Israelized. They came out of Egypt. Yeah. Their race was not Jew, but they came out. In this part, yeah, uh, many people, uh, their nationalities was not different. It's, it's not Jews, but they became Jews. Wow. Hmm? In the past, to be a Jew was the humiliating, but now to be Jews is uh, honorable, honorable. Yeah, we can be persecuted by the people, but uh, we can be honored yeah? uh, and we can be blessed. Yeah. God turned the near tragedy into a time of victory. Yeah. When Mordecai left the palace, he was wearing a royal purple robe and crown. Wow, Mordecai was honored. The Jews celebrated and their enemies became afraid of them. Wow. Chapter 9, Jews triumph over their enemies. Now the tables were turned and the Jews uh, got upper hand over those uh, who hated them. The king's edict was carried out on the day that was originally appointed to be the day of annihilation of the Jews. God was with the Jews and they got upper hand over their enemies and killed many of them all throughout the kingdom. Nobles and administrators throughout the kingdom helped the Jews. The enemies of Jews became afraid of Mordecai. Wow. God exalted Mordecai. Yeah. Uh, Noah, please read verse 4 and 5. Mordecai was promoted in the palace. His reputation spread throughout the provinces and he became more powerful. The Jews struck down all their enemies, killing and destroying them, and they did what they pleased to those who hated them. Mm. Wow. It's a great victory. Hmm? Hmm. Noah, have you ever experienced the spiritual victory? in serving God's work and uh, sharing gospel with your friends and can you share anything, your spiritual victory? I'm not really sure. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Someday you will be exalted and honored huh? when you keep your faith huh? Mm. When you will go to university, uh, I think that you cannot but 
face some difficulties. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Uh, but if you keep your faith uh, sincerely, God will bless you. Hmm. Yeah. I think that uh, in Indonesia, it's not easy to keep a faith. How mm. about your ship and leaders? Mm. Yeah, w w w particularly recently, the, mm. there are many, majority of the people are uh, Muslim, and then Christians are very little. Mm. And then uh, that's why when we inter uh, or uh, help them to marry by marriage by faith. Oh. It's not easy. You, know, you you need to you know make a strong you know decision by faith. You know? mm. So because you know so many men, but they are not Christian though. You know Muslim oh. everywhere. Mm. You know? mm. But you know the Christian brothers always you know go out hang out you know corrupted. You know? Oh. So men of you know the God, mm. it's not, not many. Oh. I, I think a female is more like, you know, uh, faithful, more mm -hmm. faithful. Mm. Yeah. So there are many female shepherds, you know, in, in, in the center, you know, church. But not many boys are very faithful like Noah. Oh. I, I respect Noah. You know, he you know, very diligent, faithfully join the Bible study, even on Friday night. But mm. On Friday night, nobody come to church. <laughs> they have to go to party, <laughs> drinking and dancing. And, you know. <laughs> we, we, we need uh, people like Noah, you know, mm. love the word of God, you know. Yeah. That's why, uh, how we help uh, the shep shepherds, mm. Mary. In oh, Indonesia. for marriage. Yeah, yeah, there is uh, a very difficult to help them. Mm. We cannot say, yeah, whatever, with whatever you can marry. We cannot say that because uh, there are many non-Christian, you know. Mm. Yeah. And then they chasing our Christian, you know, shepherds, you know. Mm. Yeah, will you marry me, you know? Yeah, it's not, it's, it's mm. not God's idea, you know. It's mm. a good idea, you know. Uh, to let wow. them marry whatever man, mm. you know. We don't want to lose the faithful woman to the mm. unfaithful, you know, unbelievers. You know, mm. Mm. there is one big, you know, difficulty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about UK? Mm. In uh, London, you have uh, mm. uh, shepherdesses are more than shepherds. <laughs> oh. Male shepherds. Female shepherds, female shepherdesses are more than male shepherds. Uh, there's a, uh, in my opinion, a very strong shepherdess that is it we have. Uh, <laughs> Louis, <Strong. laughs> Louis is very strong. Uh, <laughs> very strong. And, uh, uh, so another one is uh, the missionary Francesca. James's uh, wife. Mm. She has a, a, a has a sheep and she is growing. Yeah. So mm. actually, she uh, she has to be studied a very long time, but uh, mm. for a couple of years, she uh, uh, she no there there was no relationship, but uh, from the last year, mm. the recovery of the relationship. Mm. She experienced uh, her mother's death, mm. and then she uh, come back to uh, the community, mm. and she is going very well. Uh, she is very uh, good. Uh, she shared the life testimony as well. Mm. How old is she? She is uh, uh, maybe mid thirty. I'm not sure there. Mm. Mid thirty. She, uh, yeah. mm. she need uh, maybe uh, yeah. She need some. <laughs> Mm. Uh, you know the, you know the, uh, uh the the, the what's your, mm. house church. Mm. She, she, uh, well, she is good candidate. Mm. <laughs> uh, are there some uh male ship? Uh, there's no candidate for 
Mm. <laughs> Actually, we we don't have her. Mm. So I think Sir James is and Fran is praying for her mm. to, for her marriage. So yeah. Good. Yeah. Mm. So another another young uh, couple is the Jack and uh, Abby. Mm. Actually, Jack was uh, you know the, the raised by the Paul. Mm. And then Abby was actually her girlfriend. Mm. The, both of them is raised by the Paul and Joanna. Mm. And then they were exemplary uh, mm. raised and uh, they grown up. And then they are uh, Jack and Jack nowadays presiding the, mm. the worship service. Mm. And then Abby is praying for the worship service. Mm. They are very beautiful now. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. But currently, uh, yeah, we have uh, Josephine and um, I just forgotten the the Francesca's uh, ship's name. And then mm. Josephine was the uh, old ship. British? A, a bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, British, but a yeah, mm. little bit of mental problem. Oh. A long time. So, mm. But uh, currently, I think the, mm. the Francesca's ship is a good uh, candidate for the. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We are bring up many uh, sheep. Yeah? So um, uh, I believe that God will bless uh, uh, bless us, uh, and uh, there will be uh, spiritual men of God like mm. Mordecai and spiritual uh, woman of God like Esther. Uh, it's very rare rare but when you one man when you one woman is very important yeah? because of when you one man Mordecai uh, one woman of God Esther uh, whole Israel community whole Jews could be protected yeah one man Eliza uh, mm-hmm. uh, saved uh, northern Israel yeah one man is very important yeah yeah uh, even in Korea nowadays, it's very rare to uh, study Bible, and it's very difficult to, to find out hopeful ship in the campus. Nowadays, we are uh, uh, going fishing uh, every day because it's health check in the campus. So freshmen are coming. Uh, our goal is to bring one ship to our center. Uh. Uh, in the past, they came. Uh, our centers were crowded with many sheep. Wow. <laughs> in order to eat ramen and, <laughs> and study computer and English. Wow. But nowadays, our, uh, the freshmen are, are not hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are so many things for them to enjoy. Oh. So it's not very difficult. But there is hopeful sheep. Not many, but some, some of them. Yeah. So if we try, we can find out and we can bring up Mordecai and Esther in this generation. Amen. Yeah. Like Noah. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Precious. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Haman's sons were hanged and but they took no plunder. God gave his people a great victory. Yeah, the king reported the results of the events of the day to Queen Esther and asked her what else she wanted. She asked for another day of the Jews being allowed to carry out the edict. She also asked that him and sons be made an example of and hanged for all to see. Yeah. Uh, no, please read verse 13. If it pleases the king, Esther answered, give the Jews in Susa permission to carry out this day's edict tomorrow. Also, let Haman's 10 sons be impaled on poles. Noah, why do you think uh, Esther? As the king, let Haman's ten sons be impaled on poles. I guess it's kind of like the idea that 
your offspring is a lot like you in a sense i guess it's like well at least at the time mm. more so it was you acted a lot like your your parents mm. in that sense mm. now it's a little more rebellious but generally generally everybody has the same mindset as their parents like especially political views especially mm. family values and such mm. so i think it's kind of that idea of just eliminating mm. future haymans if you yeah. will yeah mm. yeah uh haymans sons could be uh influenced by his father uh because uh they could uh revenge because he, uh, their father was hanged mm. uh, and i think that uh as they wanted to unmute all the influence of satanic uh, scheme yeah mm. Uh, mm. so uh, uh god's salvation was sure and complete the jews came together in a great feasting and joy celebrating uh, their absolute victory. Yeah. So they uh, got a joyful uh, feast like that. Mordecai recorded uh, these events and sent letters to the Jews asking them celebrate the victory. Every year, the annual event, the Feast of Frum. Even now, the Jews in the world they keep this feast. Yeah, it's a salvation day. Yeah. Uh, in the viewpoint of New uh, Testament, uh, uh, Testament, uh, the resurrection of Jesus is the feast of room. Jesus was crucified and he rose again from the dead. Mm. And he crushed the power of Satan. Mm. It's the day of a victory. The, huh? the Easter, huh? Easter day, uh, uh, we celebrate resurrection mm. uh, of Jesus. Mm. Huh? Mm. Yeah. So uh, when we read, uh, Book of Esther, we can uh, arrange this uh, elevation of Haman, chapter 3. And Haman given authority by the king, an anti Jewish edict. All Jews should be killed. And Haman's ambition, yeah, he wanted to hang Mordecai on the pole. Yeah, he built gallows for Mordecai. Uh, but God elevated Mordecai. Mm. Yeah, it's a reverse. And Mordecai became prominent at the palace. Mm. Pro Jewish edict. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anti Jewish edict was changed into pro-Jewish edict. Haman's ambition was changed into Mordecai's honor. Ah. Haman built Gallo, and mm. Haman and his sons were hanged. Wow. It's God's reversal. Uh, reversal. The conflict between the offspring of woman, Satan, and the offspring of the serpent, uh, oh, no, sorry, the uh, offspring of woman, uh, Messiah, and the offspring of serpent is inevitable. Yeah. The serpent and his offspring will not perish uh, from the earth until the final victory. Uh, Jesus' second coming uh, is one. Revelation chapter uh 20 verse 10 says the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur. Yeah. Through Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, 
Satan lost the power. But fundamentally, when Jesus comes again, the devil will be thrown into the lake of burning sulfur. Later on, we can see the holy city, new heaven and earth, new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. So our victory already not yet. Our victory has been given already through gospel, but not yet until Jesus comes again. Yeah. So we have to be a lot always, but fundamentally, uh, God will give us victory. Yeah. So the woman and the serpent uh, uh, always a serpent tempt us, but uh, uh, we can have a victory hmm? in Jesus. Yeah, Jesus' second coming, uh, it will be fulfilled. Yeah. Hmm. It's a wonderful reverse history in the book of Esther. So we can experience the great uh, victory in Jesus. Yeah. We can face a lot of difficulties like Mordecai. Uh, but uh, Satan cannot uh, attack us fundamentally because God is with us and God will give us great victory. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. In our mission field, there are many difficulties and war in Ukraine. Yeah, many uh, persecution in each uh, mission field, but uh, God is with us and God will give us great victory. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Kalev, can you give a uh, comment through today's passage? What did you learn? Today's uh, study, I learned about the uh, ghost reversal. Mm. So it was uh, already planned for us. So important thing is we need to uh, uh, trust in God mm. and we may Need to we need to continue to uh, keep going uh, mm -hmm. and going. Uh, try again, not but giving up. Yeah. So, so often I, I just have a, a mind that kind of mm -hmm. ah may, may I have to stop? <laughs> 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 uh, what should I do like that? Mm -hmm. so it's not just thinking about myself. Mm -hmm. So I have to think about God uh, who called me. And say to me, always look up Jesus. Yeah, that is important things. So, so it is good for thinking about uh, Esther's story, Mordecai's story. Mm. God's devotion is very uh, good for us. It is also planned for each of us. Mm. But that's why God called us and mm. uh, giving us the word continually. So, yeah, we have to pray. I have mm. to pray to accept both. Providence and cause mm. grace and cause the, yeah, yeah. God is living. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Noah, can you share anything you learned? It's kind of with the idea of God's reversals. It's, mm. it's just one thing that obviously this passage, obviously this portion of Esther in particular, mm. um, it's Haman having his plan to essentially commit mass genocide. Mm. Um, but also Haman almost in a humanly sense gets what he deserves. Mm. Obviously in a human sense, he got what he deserved but also mm. in a godly sense, God was punishing him, which kind of reminded me of Proverbs 11, 21. Mm. Um, it reads, be sure of this, the wicked will not go unpunished, but those who are righteous will go free. Mm. So it's kind of a reminder that first off, God knew Haman was going to do that in the first place mm. because nothing is hidden from him. Mm. Nothing. Mm. 
So I guess that's kind of one thing for me as well. It's just remembering that God is always there Mm -hmm. and knowing whatever I do, whatever I think Mm -hmm. is being essentially monitored by God. Mm -hmm. And whatever I think, sin, obviously that will not go unpunished because god is a righteous god mm. and there's a reason why jesus died on the cross because mm. he cannot live with sin at all mm. and of course if jesus hadn't saved us from the bondage of sin and death then we would all be burning in hell mm. but fortunately that is not the case mm. but it's that idea that God is a righteous judge mm. because he is in very nature, God, he is just God. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Good perspective. Okay. Mission William, can you say anything? Oh yeah. So through this Bible study, you know, mm. I, I, I learned that, you know, God has always a plan. Ahead mm. of us, mm. when even when Mordecai, you know, frustrated and mm. disaster, mm. he think it is a you know, tragedy. It's done. It's mm. end. End of my life. Mm. Oh no! It's it, God has still plan. You know, send mm. you know Esther, woman of faith. Wow, it's amazing. You know, the you know, starting. You know, uh, God already starting a big reversal of mm. his life. Mm. So we should be patient, you know, don't decide too early, you know, mm. pray and endure, endure hardship with prayer by faith. And then mm. we, we will see the glory of God, God's plan. Yeah. Wow, God's plan was here. This is the plan. Oh, mm. um, so we will, you know, see that, you know, in, you know, in the later, you know. Mm. So even if we, the now, nowadays, you know, difficulties a lot, but wait let's wait god has a plan you know mm. there is a beautiful plan it's there over there you know? so let's be patient you know mm. by prayer <laughs> amen thank you yeah. so much yeah. yeah okay thank you all of you mission <laughs> god please pray for finish before finishing yeah uh, <laughs> yeah heavenly father thank you for uh your grace and your calling and your salvation through Jesus Christ. Mm. Uh, thank you for the study, uh, Esther's Book of Esther. Mm. We see uh, the great reversal. Mm. There, there is uh, many difficulties and uh, circumstances happens, but uh, God, uh, we believe that mm. you have uh, prepared the, your plan for us. So. Uh, help us to be patient, mm. help us to uh, trust in you, help mm. us to pray mm. hard to be used for your glory, Father. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, we believe that you have a great plan for this mm. world, mm. Uh, for your great salvation work. Mm. Uh, please use uh, uh, each of us, mm. uh, your great work. Father, thank you for the this Bible study. Thank you for Shepherd Name Kim. Uh, please give him your wisdom and spirit and health to serve your mission and Gwangju and uh, the Bible study, uh, many Bible studies in online spot. Uh, thank you for today's uh, study. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you thank so you. much. Okay, have a good weekend. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.